All right, so we, uh, we have more water problems. I got that recorded too. <laughs> this is a good day, I said, need to start the rebuilding of life. The roads that lay open are many. When the old one's gone under the knife, and I can feel the sun on my skin. All right, so we uh, we have more water problems. I went to flush my black tank, and water is just draining out from underneath here. And um, so now we have to tear everything out and check the back of the black tank flush. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna use this coming straight from my Nautilus system to put it in there uh, to run some water through the system. And I have some help this time. Jimmy from Find Us Camping is going to come over and turn a water on for me when I get back there so we can try to figure out what's going on. Hit camping board, we'll get some parts. Fix this bad boy. Right. I have the tape on the back side. Tape's not holding either. All right. All right, go ahead. Just turn it on slow. All right, stop. No, but I heard it. It sounded like it was up top. It is. In your shout in your bathroom. So we've got more, more water problems. Um, the water is actually coming down from in the bay. Not, no, not in the bay. The water is coming down the pipe into the bay, um, the actual PEX line, and it is coming from like underneath the shower in my bathroom. So. I don't know what we're going to do. I called Grand Design. Um, I'm currently on hold with them, so we're going to have to see what they say because it's not something I can fix. It, se it seems like you would have to actually like take the shower out or something. So we'll see what what they say and you know what what the next steps are from here. All right. So update on the black tank flush. What has happened is that the water check valve has gone bad. If you own a 311, which I know a lot of you do, uh, it's actually behind the shower nozzle panel. So we have to replace that. It's a $25 part. Of course, uh, Camping World and General RV and all the other dealerships around don't carry one in stock. So have to get one ordered from Amazon. It's 25 bucks. The good news is we can still take showers and stuff. We just obviously can't use a black tank flush. Um, but Thankfully, it is not that bad of an issue as, as we thought it would be. Um, we actually had a mobile tech come out. That cost $160 just for him to come out and find the source of the leak and then pull it apart. So I'm actually going to reinstall it because it's literally just hand tightening the, uh, the water lines onto it. All right, now that we got that finished, let's go have some fun. This morning I so clear a lot as any to see the horizon and the fire. We're at a place called Fun Spot, and it's like an amusement park. Um, getting ready to go ride some go-karts, and this go-kart track is insane. I can't wait to show you guys this.
Nikki works there. I work here. Cindy works back there. Nick works in the bedroom at the desk. Okay, so we went to Camping World today, got a few supplies and um, a few things we just, we've been needing, a new mat, uh, stuff like that, just try to make sure we have everything we need. And then, um, you know, we just came back, we're going to eat some dinner, and I think we're going to go to a fruit um, place, I forget what it's called, but you actually like pick your own lemons and oranges and you have nice slushies and stuff like that, so we're pretty excited about that. The kids will get to go. Um, they, I, I think they have a petting zoo and things like that, so um, pretty excited. And it's so far, like the weather is beautiful here. It's a little chilly right now, but the rest of the week is supposed to be like 70. Um, so definitely, you know, if you have to be somewhere in the winter, I guess 75 degrees is is pretty nice. We're we're making do here down in Florida. We're having a great time. So we went to Showcase of Citrus and it has, it's a cute little farm um, stand vibe to it. It has all your different lemons and limes and grapefruits and yeah. oranges and what was those ones called? Honey bells. Honey bells. Those are called honey bells. We've never ate those. Don't know if you've ever had a honey bell in Florida, but they are super sweet. Super juicy. <laughs> really juicy. I think you could probably get a cup and a half of juice out of one of them, which was pretty cool. Yep. Um, we made homemade lemonade using the lemons um, from the stand. The skin of them are super thin, so it's easy to cut into, and you can eat it like an orange, so it was perfect. Um, what else? Well, they had the petting zoo. They did have a petting zoo. You with can, a kangaroo. You can get a cup of food or a bucket of food, whatever you want to be able to feed them. It has a kangaroo and the um, emu. and um, Crazy bird. Crazy pony. Uh, miniature crazy pony. <laughs> had a miniature pony and a um, miniature donkey, which was, both were super sweet and cute. Um, and a bunch of other animals there. So it was pretty neat to see. And then they had uh, like monster truck, but it was school bus monster trucks. They're, they said it was the, like the biggest monster trucks on the East Coast, which was pretty awesome to see. We didn't get to ride them, um, but it was really cool to, to catch on film. Yeah, the place was really nice. Yeah. It was, you could sit down and just enjoy your slushy. The slushies were the best part. Oh my gosh, yes. They have orange slushies, lemon slushies, and then a wine. wine. Strawberry mango wine yeah. slushy, which was amazing. And you can get it as a slushy or you can get it as a creamsicle. So they mix the vanilla ice cream in with it. And oh my gosh, the lemon slushy with the vanilla ice cream was the bomb. If you get a chance, go try a slushie. Yeah, just try. It's only about, what, about four miles up the road from Orlando? Yep, so if you stay at the Thousand Trails, uh, Orlando, it's yep. it's only a couple miles up the road. So it's, it's right really on nice. the right-hand side. It's really cool, and it's 2,000 acres um, of, of orchard. So yep. you can pick your own um, fruit as well as, I think they do blueberries and stuff when they're in season, which of course they're not in season right now. So it was pretty nice. Um, check it out if you get a chance. And if you don't feel like picking your own, you can just buy a bag and get from what they've picked. Yeah, so. it's like $9 for the small bag, but it was enough for us was... to have like enough fruit for a week and a half. So it was pretty cool. All right, well, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, you know, we try to find different things to do um, other than just going to Disney and stuff like that while yeah. we were in Orlando. Um, definitely had a lot of fun. Uh, next week you'll see us still in Orlando yes. um, and Disney will be part of it. So make sure you tune in for that mm -hmm. one. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you really like this video, make sure you subscribe. And ring the bell so you get notified when we release our next video. And until the next strange adventure, keep making your own. This is a good day, yes, any to start the rebuilding of life. The roads that lay open are many When the old ones <laughs> don't mind the night And I can feel the sun on my skin Beginning to fall
this morning have so clear a light as any